So you want all the catfish, all the rasboras, all the tetras. You want all the things. Yes. What's up? Oh, we're doing something dope today, guys. Okay, so we're back at Aqua Studios. We're doing a bunch of stuff today, which includes moving fish in tanks, adding fish in tanks, and raising fish to get bigger for not just the big 150 gallon, but also the pond here in the near future. We gotta start off and get one, some plants, two, some rock, and then also we're doing another tank, which is in Chris's house. We've got a bunch of little neons for it. We've got some rasboras, all this crazy stuff. It's gonna be super sick. Just wait till you see the main fish of today's video. So dope. Oh my goodness. Okay, so Corey's catching stuff over here. The bumblebee catfish that are like vicious are being caught over here. And we've got some in there. For, uh, dude, look at all of the clownfish. Plants. Oh, okay. What? <laughs> Dude, I'm down. So we don't have just this, but we also have this over here. It's gonna be super cool on my wall. So, yeah, if you can tell it's a discus. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, boys, thank you so much. Oh man, this is gonna be a dope video. Dude, that is a dope picture right there. All right, let's get in the GMC Fiat and we'll head out of here. <laughs> GMC. <laughs> Good? We got stuff and we're home. Action. Basically, uh, I love all the comments. Your tank isn't cycled. Your tank, why is your tank still cloudy? Uh, obviously, a lot of people didn't watch the very first video where I didn't wash the substrate because I haven't had a problem with the substrate, but it was quite a large bulk of substrate. <laughs> so uh, that's why it's cloudy. And because the filter is so strong, it literally brings those particles in and just pushes them right back out because it's an FX6. For a 400 gallon tank, this is 150. But no, if you look today, the tank is definitely a little bit more clear. I don't know if you can tell, but like the first water change we do, it's gonna clear up. It's not a bacteria bloom, which isn't a problem if, even if it was. And if it was over two weeks of me having a bacteria bloom, then yeah, that's a problem. Also, a bunch of people freaked out yesterday because the fish didn't eat immediately. And they ate, well, let's see, I don't see any food. They ate about two minutes later. So we stole this painting. Um, I can't wait for Sean to watch this video because it's actually his. I think we're gonna put it, I'm gonna put it right here. Look at how cool that's about to look. So we got Numero Uno, the painting. If you guys don't remember, I took the flower horn back out of this tank because the only thing he didn't like, he liked the silver dollars, didn't have any problems with the Pleco. He wanted to eat the catfish though, the thing that was three times the size of that. Now that I put the catfish into the pond. All right, big guy. Yeah, there you go, there you go, you're good. We can finally add Bubba back in to here. Cause he was doing fantastic, other than he wasn't a fan of the albino catfish. Bubba, come here, buddy. Yeah, Bubba. Bubba isn't the smartest fish. <laughs> it kind of just swims into the net, if I'm being honest. These tanks are set at the same temperature as well, both at 70. I think this one might be at 78, that one's at 77, but that's not a problem. All right, big guy. Go ahead. That's fine. All right, there he is. Ready? This tank is in dire need of some nice look. So I'm gonna do a water change here in just a little bit. But before I do that, I'm gonna get some of these plants in, as well as some driftwood and some rocks. So we're gonna spice this thing up. And then I don't know if you guys know what fish are going in here yet, but they're so dope. Roll the time lapse. Okay, it's super cloudy, of course, because I stirred it up. That's just gonna happen. But you guys can see the driftwood. What I'm gonna get is I'm gonna get another bag of sand. So we're gonna have about this much more sand over the whole thing. So that'll be covered. Some of these rocks will be covered. Some more of the plants will be covered. Everything should grow a little bit better. And then we got some fish. We got three fish to be exact. We got bumblebee catfish. If you guys don't know what these are, they get about 10 inches. If I wanted to get them to 10 inches like fast, like in about, you know, like a year, year and a half, I could feed them a lot of tilapia, which is kind of my plan. Keep them healthy, keep them strong, and get them really big for this tank right here. Once they get to around good old Gobi's side, who is literally just chilling up against this rock. I don't know if you guys can see because of the reflection, but he's just laying down right there in that rock. And so is our flower horn. But if we can get him to about that size, which is around 10 inches, if we can get him even to nine, we're gonna start adding those fish 
into here. But we can even put other fish in here with them because these catfish, their eyes are so tiny that they can really barely see. But as long as we have fish that are, I'd say over the three inch range, they're not gonna try and eat them. So we could maybe get, I don't know, what do you think we put in here? I don't know. It's almost a 40 gallon tank. You could turn it into a catfish tank. We could, we could get other little cats for what? it and just kind of raise stuff and put them into there. But that is so, so dope. We got the flower horn in, we got our new bumblebee catfish, but we also have a lot more fish. I don't want to show what they are yet. We have three more bags of fish. Actually, we have four more bags of fish and this piece of wood that's going to go to a whole other place. But this tank, I mean, just take a look. Once we do a water change here in a little bit, I'll show you guys some footage. And by the end of today's video, you're going to see this thing and this thing right here. Absolutely crystal clear. Now, let's get to work on those fish. We're in the Fiat again. Mm -hmm. Ready? Hit her in the turbo. All right, let's do this. Zero to 60 in 25 minutes. That's right. <laughs> But no, in all seriousness, boys and girls, I'm stoked. I really want to see what these bumblebee catfish kind of come to look like. I think the feeding on them is going to be awesome. Oh, ho, ho. okay. It's simple. There's not a lot to it, but take a look at just kind of how this tank is built up with the rock where this is actually dragonstone, the substrate and downright the, like, the clarity is insane. I didn't ask you to... And there are all of the fish. I don't know if you guys can see, we got a bunch of neons, a bunch of rasboras. There's just a bunch of different types of stuff in here. We gotta fill this tank up a lot more because you can't see it very well. But once everything starts schooling, this is gonna look so sick. Five hours later. Okay, got a lot going on in here, doing a little over a 50% water change. They've been acclimating for a long time. I got a piece of wood in here, which is super sick. I did rinse off these filter pads, but I also got some more beneficial bacteria to go in there. This is about to get a water change, as you guys can see. It's pretty clear, but it could be clearer. And it's just from the substrate, so it's all good. Okay, so I've got this pump that's pumping through the hose, down here, across the bed, and out of the hose right there. That's what's draining this 150 gallon. Now, if you can see, we've got this tank. It's not clear yet, obviously, because I was just now pouring water in there, but I did about, I'd say about a 60% water change on there. So it's currently time to get the catfish in. Okay, guys, the audio is kind of loud from the tank, but what I'm about to do is we're gonna get our bumblebee catfish into the net and into the tank. Like I said, we got three of them. All of them are in the net. Grab these little guys and all of them are out. Now, as they get bigger, you'll probably be able to see them better, but they're gonna hide for a little while and they should come out a lot of the times we feed. I'll try and feed at the front of the tank mostly, but there's one down back there. We got another chilling right there. We got another hanging out right there and they look so sick. Bumblebee catfish, the thing is insane. Well, it's the next step. So I got a lot of really good news. This tank, sorry for the background noise. I don't know what they're doing out there. Hey, but no, this tank is uh, about as clear as you could possibly get it. I don't know if you can see, but we got two bumblebee catfish down there. Uh, actually, I lied. All three of them are there. The other one is just hiding right back behind those plants back there. I don't know if you can see them. There it is. They're just laying behind that rock. And they are doing, they're doing great. This tank is about crystal clear. You can see there's our water cow goby. We got the Paku. We got some more Paku. And we got the Paku, the flower horn. They're doing great. Oh, and this flower horn's head is also doing something called fading. So all of y'all who are probably freaking out because that's what his head looks like. I got super scared of first and then I realized it's they just it's just fading so he's good don't worry it's kind of like almost like shedding but not really so if you guys didn't know we have a deformed beta in the house that thing is sick but it's in a kind of like a tiny tank if you guys didn't watch the video where I basically played around with a thousand dollars on a dartboard and ended up spending a hundred dollars on a crab tank I am going to take that tank take the crabs out because I don't need the crabs we really don't pay a lot of attention to them I mean they're cute but no not really I think I'm going to take the crabs out of there and change that beta tank in with 
the tank the crabs are in because I think that'd be so much better and that tank's really cool and I don't think we're doing enough with it I feel like you could also have a really cool scape with that being said though hopefully y'all enjoyed today's video if you've got to join my channel click the subscribe button down below follow me on Instagram at fanatic.media follow all my other social media links down in the description below TikTok, Instagram snapchat it's all down there sorry I talked so much in today's video I normally don't do that and with all that being said I'll catch you guys next time on the next episode of fanatic peace